Celeste Gambardella, and I am a postdoctoral scientific researcher at the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And currently my work is focused on understanding ultramarine disease. And this is the disease or degradation phenomenon that affects uh, oil paintings containing one of the most valuable pigments uh, known in history, and that's ultramarine blue. Much like the study of medical diseases, we want to understand the mechanism behind this degradation phenomenon. And this will help us determine methods for early diagnosis, uh, help us identify markers attributing to susceptibility, develop uh, safe and effective treatment plans, and ultimately establish preventative care measures. And because of the parallel to medical research, we could learn a lot from the medical research field and vice versa. So searching uh, for and sifting through literature um, in the different disciplines can be very challenging even if the technologies used in the two disciplines are similar. Uh, and this is a big challenge uh, that I believe the EOSC can help support in solving because it connects disciplines um, on a level where the languages are the same, that being measured data. Uh, and this, in the end, should help researchers more easily find parallels and work more closely together. I believe that the EOSC can boost interdisciplinary research in Europe by encouraging sharing and safeguarding fair research data across all disciplines and this will assist in the validation of data and also accelerate uh, innovation by improving both the use and reuse of data in the future through the mitigation of data loss. My research at the moment uh, rests on the study of model systems. However, there's a lot of information that can also be gathered from actual cultural heritage objects and sites or the patients in our field. And in my case, the patients are paintings containing ultramarine blue. And just as in the medical field, we study our patients across many scales using a sweep of non-invasive techniques. And sometimes we have microsampling or biopsying. And such knowledge, however, is inherently limited by the relatively small data sets that can be achieved in a single collection or site. So ultimately, the EOS would offer cultural heritage institutions a platform for sharing collections-based data, which would enable um, epidemiological studies that could either be related to ultramarine disease or any other degradation phenomenon or conditions-based inquiry. And I think that this uh, would facilitate improved care for cultural heritage worldwide. I feel that the EOS will not only help us connect with our peers, but also will help us find new connections to researchers doing parallel work, even though they're in different fields. Um, because the success of the EOSC rests on data being fair, EOSC inherently uh, safeguards cultural heritage data for the future. And for the optimum care of cultural heritage, we must be able to find, access, interoperate, and reuse our data when we assess the health of cultural heritage objects and sites in the future. Um, but unlike a patient, or the, unlike the lifetime of a, of a patient, uh, the lifetime of cultural heritage is earmarked to be eternal. And because the health of cultural heritage depends on our continued understanding of its condition, it's uh, therefore essential that we care for the recorded data from which we glean this understanding. And I think that the EOSC is the only way that this will be feasible. As caretakers of cultural heritage, I feel that cultural heritage institutions have an obligation to provide information and knowledge to today and tomorrow's society about past societies. And I think that the EOSC can help us achieve this mission further. Uh, thus, I think it's only fair that cultural heritage data is fair to all.